now joined by Nebraska's head coach, Bill Straub, and Liz Culkin. Coach, if you'll open with a statement, and we'll go to questions. Coming into this today, to do as well as we did is a really a testament to how good the team is, how good the assistant coach, Paul Klemp, is. It ends up being a situation he just performed way above what we had anticipated coming into today because yesterday was so tough. It couldn't be a better position. feel very lucky. So what was the, what was the discussion last night after you guys you know, finished as a, as a six seed, not what you wanted? What was kind of the... Was we, tried a, we tried a different game plan starting early today. We tried to do some manipulating of the lanes that might be more conducive to us doing better, and it worked out, thankfully. What, what kind of <clears throat> well, the, the, this house, with what the maintenance procedure has been, it tends to hook early and it hooks in the middle. <clears throat> so we had the one plastic ball that I, we have with us and we played right down the middle of the lane during the practice session, which took the oil further down. So it gave the kids a chance to be able to do a little bit more manipulation without getting in jail. We got lucky. How was the day from, uh, <clears throat> from your perspective? Very exciting. I mean, as Coach said, coming into today, we didn't have a very good day yesterday. We had a really long chat yesterday night, even though it was 11 o'clock. We went in Coach's hotel room, and we had a conversation how we were going to approach today. Strategies, and it paid off. I mean, I am, even though I was in this situation last year, I still feel like a freshman, so excited to be there again. We, became, we overcame so much adversity with Coach being sick and having Coach Klumpa there, and I'm just so proud of the team for pulling together today because we've just been through a lot, and I'm just really excited for tomorrow. Uh, when did it start to maybe sink in? Maybe even after yesterday, you guys could hold well. I was feeling pretty good after the break this morning. Um, after we went 2-0, and after we were down to Vandy 2-3, and we overcame that, I felt really good after that. I would say that was a turning point where I said, I don't – I, th I don't think there's any turn back from here. And sure enough, here we are. So, um, Sam Houston State tomorrow night, a team nobody thought would be here, I don't think. Um, you know, any thoughts on, on facing them tomorrow? You can only be a first time winner once. So they got, they're going into new ground. If they go into it where it's got nothing to lose, it's going to be harder for us to beat them. We're looking to have some consideration or if they feel like it might be tougher on their first occasion, it'll be easier. But if they go into this like we got nothing to lose, they got a good chance of winning. What are you telling your <clears throat> your teammates? Stay relaxed as much as possible. We have the upper hand a little bit on having some girls that were on the T V show last year. We sort of know how the environment is, how the lanes change compared to how they were. But we just need to keep doing what we were doing today. we got to stay relaxed and have fun. I really think that was a difference today. Yesterday we weren't having much fun, and today we were having a lot of fun, and I think that really makes a difference. So I'm going to just tell them, be relaxed, try to ignore all the lights and cameras, and let's do this. So what do you guys do tomorrow? You don't have, you're not bowling until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. What's the, what's we got people doing homework. Oh, Coach, what are we doing? <laughs> <You know? laughs> true. <laughs> that is true. All right. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.